Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with another process layout video um, for this series using colored stamps in your scrapbook layouts. So for this one, I've used a clear acrylic stamp from Jaded Blossom called Floral Coffee Art. And in this set, there's a, a larger one and a smaller one exactly identical. So I use that to my advantage. And when I colored them, I colored um, one of each of the full stamp. And then I colored just the florals on each of them as well. And I fussy cut all of them out. Now there's a reason I wanted to do this. So I wanted to be able to build up my clusters with these florals so that I didn't just have one bunch of florals here and one bunch of florals here. That I needed to build them up a little bit, give it some depth. So I'm using a photo my daughter took at um, what's called the study, which is the coffee house in her university. And she was she was really liking the new cups that, it, that they're using. So she took a photo. Anyways, to make it all match, I made it a black and white photo, which I really enjoy working with because it doesn't matter what color your, your palette is for your layout. It will always go. So these stamps were perfect for this photo and I went with a geographical design background, very neutral to match, you know, to make everything blend in a little better. I used some wood grain paper from, I want to say Simple Stories Basics line um, in a six by eight size, as well as some other pattern paper to map my photo. And along with those, see, here's where I'm going to start layering. Along with those coffee cup stamped images, I'm also using digital images from Nicole Jones 911 Designs. I have several pulled out. They don't all make it on the page. Uh, those butterflies definitely make it, as well as the flowers and that word cozy. Um, I'm also going to add those pencils because they were appropriate. Um, my title is called The Study because that is the name of the coffee house, appropriately. I'm also using some planner stickers that I picked up at our local Dollarama. Um, they are cardboard planner stickers, um, pretty thick, very solid but they're coffee themed, so of course they fit perfectly as well. And I'm gonna layer up those florals that I fussy cut from the stamped images along with the florals from Nicole Jones 911 Designs, and I'll have all of those linked down below, including the clear stamp. And I'm gonna layer those up um, with the fussy cut pieces as the extra flowers that I'd colored. Um, there's also, uh, Appropriately enough, um, in that planner sticker set, there was a pair of glasses and a paper clip. So those, are, and, and a an, uh, bulldog clip. So all three of those also make it onto this page because they were just so appropriate. My daughter is in her fourth year of mechanical engineering studies at Lakehead University. So um, the pencils are also appropriate. I will be using some of Nicole Jones tiny typewriter font alphas to put year four. Um, so this will be the fourth year that she sits in the study, of course. And yeah, um, this one was fairly quick. There really wasn't a whole lot to think about. When you have these digital or even, you know, physical stamped images that you've colored, they kind of take center stage but not so much that they overwhelm your photo. This is one of the reasons why I printed the black and white photo. I want the photo to stand out. The colored images are beautiful and I love them, but I don't want them to overwhelm. So another way to keep from doing that is to minimize your embellishment so that your embellishments don't take over the focal point of the photo. I also added a piece of uh, paper down at the bottom that is a ruler. Um, also appropriate <laughs> and yeah it is so quick so I have a few more um, projects up my sleeve in this series 
I love this series. I really hope to keep it going because I love to color with my Copic markers. Um, I also like to watercolor and I'd really like to get some watercolored images on some layouts as well. So if you love this idea and you like the series, uh, please let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will have all the links down below for you to all the products I use from Nicole Jones 911 Designs, as well as the clear stamp set from Jaded Blossom. I do have a discount code for, nine, for Nicole Jones. It is Leah 10, that's capital L E A H 1 0, Leah 10 for 10% 10 off any purchase in her shop. And I'll have that link down below as well. So uh, the last thing I do to this is to add some enamel dots. Um, my favorites are Gina, Gina Marie designs. And I will also splatter it with my favorite, although almost empty iridescent gold from Tattered Angels. I'll have to look at uh, finding a replacement for that. I don't know if they make that anymore, but I will definitely look because it is just such a subtle, beautiful gold spray. That's it for me today, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon with another layout. Bye-bye.